This package of bills is years in the making as lawmakers have attempted in the past to strengthen the state's laws on sexual assault. Of course, this is after the Larry Nassar scandal and one of the key details in this package is making it a felony charge for any medical professional who commits sexual assault. Um, in the wake of the Larry Nassar scandal, the, a lot more scandals came to light. It's been seven years since the arrest of Larry Nassar, the former Michigan State University doctor who was convicted of sexually assaulting hundreds of his patients. Now, state lawmakers are once again considering a package of bills to strengthen the state's laws on sexual assault. One of the bills will look to ban medical professionals from disguising a medical treatment for reason for sexual penetration. Any violators would be charged with a felony with a max sentence of 20 to 25 years in prison. A violation of your dignity, especially within the confines of like that trusted doctor patient relationship is especially damaging to folks. Um, it can lead to lasting damage for survivors and patients. Johanna Kanonen is with the Michigan Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence. She's in support of the bill package, saying it's an important step to protect patients in the wake of the Nasser scandal. It's really important, I think, for survivors to see that um, we believe them. The bills would also require the Department of Education to develop materials educating middle and high school students on sexual assault and harassment. It would require training for educators as well. The package of bills was recently passed by a state Senate committee. Jim Runstead was one of the unanimous votes. There's a lot of new felonies associated with any kind of misbehavior of not following the rules. So uh, this pretty well locks down what he was doing and making sure it will not happen again. Kanonen says she and others have tried three different times to get similar legislation passed. She says for the sake of survivors, she's hopeful the fourth time is the charm. Survivors in Michigan deserve that. And as I mentioned earlier, this was already passed by a state Senate committee and it's going to go to the full Senate for a vote before it's considered by the House. Reporting for CBS News Detroit, I'm Ray Strickland.